everybody, I hope you're all doing well. So yesterday I managed to finish off doing the rest of this flower in this gorgeous blue colour. So we've got all of the outline done, which means we can start doing the French knots in the middle. So there's two different colours. There's this yellow colour and then there's a red. It's actually this red which we used here. So it's this red and this yellow that we're using. I love this yellow colour. It's one of my favourites. I enjoy packing this one. Um, so we're going to start doing the middle of the flower and we're going to do that in French knot, which I'm always slightly scared of doing. <laughs> so I'm just going to thread on, come up, around. And down. So that's the first one done. You don't actually have to go through the middle because it's such a small space. It seems to all fit nicely. I've still got a bit of thread left over, so I'm going to move on to the next yellow one, which is this one. I'm going to come up around. The outline right. I may have gone slightly too far far out there. Let's have a look when it comes through. We've also got some of the blue. I'm sure it'll be okay. So I'm gonna actually change my needle just because it's become a bit blunt at the end, and also some of the silver bits just come off there. Probably from me manhandling it so much, which is probably more than I meant to. So I'm going to change it because Philippa does say that you do need to change your needles regularly because it can damage the wool and the linen, and we don't want to do that. So I'm going to change this, and then we can do the last of the yellow centered part of, of the flower. So we're moving on to the second colour of our centre. Now, before I said it was this colour, and it's not, it's that's 227 and this is 226, or is it the other way around? They're very close to each other, but they're not quite the same. So on Facebook, Alison McCree Spencer has commented saying that her Tree of Life kit has just arrived. So welcome, Alison, to the Tree of Life group. <laughs> um, I hope that you find these videos helpful whilst you're doing it. Um, and let us know how you get on doing it as well, because I want to see how everyone else is doing doing it. Um, so yeah, I think I've made this thread slightly too long as, as per, I need to get a little bit better at remembering. Oh, because things like this happen when your thread's too long. So I managed to pull the thread out by going underneath the linen and we're all right, we didn't get into a knot that I thought I had gotten in. This is the problem when you make your thread too long. So Marjorie on YouTube has commented saying that she just finished doing the Jacobean stag which is very exciting and she's managed to block it as well so well done for working out how to block it because the instructions are really good in the in both the videos which Philip has done and in the instruction booklet but it can still be a little bit daunting <laughs> I know the first time I did it I was quite scared doing it so well done do send us in your picture as well and if you're looking for another kit to go on to I do recommend doing the uh, tree of life because there's just so many diff it's very different to the jacobean stag which is nice it's completely different but there's still stitches which you know which is nice so you've got that confidence just pulling the frame down as the, the linen seems a little bit loose which is not what we want Up. 
Alison had also commented that her dog's very interested in the walls. In the background, you might be able to hear Arthur <laughs> snoring away. He doesn't seem too interested today, but he's definitely had a sniff or two. There must be something in these walls which the dogs like to have a little sniff of because I always have to make sure that when I'm putting my walls down for the day to keep them out of Arthur height. Go on to the last one, which is here. I can't get it to go up with that hand. One more in. Oh, I think that's that's all done. I'm just going to do a little seeding stitch here. So that's the closest place I can see to put one in. And there we have a finished centre to our flower. Tomorrow's video, we're going to just finish off this flower by doing our little seeding stitches in here. And then we're going to be moving our linen again, which I'm not going to lie, it's not my favourite job. Um, I feel like I've not perfected moving the linen yet. But we're going to be moving this across so we can do this hill and we can finally get on to doing some bunny rabbits as well. So I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.